to the channel. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the van and we are here <laughs> at Dog Sports Derby for a competition. And it has actually been three months since our last competition. So we've had a little bit of a break and we're here today. We've got three runs. We've got two agility and one jumping. The first run, <laughs> The first run today is a jumping run and then we've got the two agility runs and it is grades one to three today. So they're running small first, um, or small, and then medium, small, medium, small, medium. So I'm just gonna go and walk the course and see what it's like, but it's grades one to three. So it should be quite nice and flowing, probably quite fast as well. So that's kind of Luna's favorite kind of thing. It is absolutely freezing as well today. And I have actually got my new coat, which is kind of like a drying robe. So this is me awkwardly modeling the 6362 designs changing robe it's got massive pockets which is really good for putting toys or treats or anything for the dogs in i'll put a link in the description for the facebook group but i'm wearing a small and it fits me really well it's nice and cozy so they have just put in all this hard standing here now as well for um oh great she's having a poo as I was saying before we got interrupted Lily, they're putting all this hard standing now here at uh, Dog Sports Derby so you can actually camp here as well which is quite nice. We've got electric and water. Just get Lily out for a leg stretch. Hello. Good girl. So nice here, I really like it at this venue. So I've just realised how matchy matchy me and Lily all are. She's got a purple Equifleece jumper on, which is a hand me down from Luna. Purple lead, hand me down from Luna. And then I've got my purple um, jacket on as well. So, um, I realised I've just been watching the Smalls run and I've realised that I have completely missed a jump out while I was walking it. So luckily they are walking again for the before they start the mediums. So I'm gonna go walk it properly this time. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So good girly has just Good girl, we just done our run, haven't we? That was super. Some wide turns, hey? Wide turns, yes, wide turns. Good girl. So yeah, we've done, we did some wide turns there, but she did fantastic, knocked one pole, and she did some fantastic, we tried layering the weaves as well, so there was a jump, and we layered them, and she was just perfect. So apart from the pole, I cannot complain. She's done really well. Oh, look at that sunset. Look at that. That's so pretty. Hey, here's a good girl. Luna, you could go. Yeah, she did fantastic. Really pleased with that. Hopefully that's got some of the crazy out, so now with the agility, she's going to be a little bit calmer. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully then she gets a contact. That is the plan anyway. Somebody's not happy that mum has lost her little fleece coat and she's having to wear Neville's. You're not happy how your mum's lost it. Tea time now. Because it's free. Hey 
Oh man, um, that was not the best. Some really nice bits. She got the entry into the weaves nicely, but they were very cheeky weaves. She popped out at the last one. So I had to do that and she redid it. She popped out again at the end. So we did it again and she managed to get it in the end. Got a few contacts but didn't actually stop at the end. So never mind. We kept going. I should have made you go back on. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me because I've just stuck the heater on in the van. Um, and my phone needs charging, hence the weird angle. So it's plugged in, but like the lead's like really short. So Luna, she looks like a seal. I can see you. Thank you for the kisses. So, little old seal here did very good. She's got, she got all her contacts, which were ended up being all running, but she got them all. So, happy with that. She knocked a pole, and then, like I said, she popped out the weaves, which is a shame because the rest of it was really nice. So, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit in here and then I'm gonna go take Lily out I think I'll walk the course because as soon as they've finished with the mediums then they'll change the course for the final agility and then I can walk it it'll be on a small but I'll walk it and then I'll come get Lily so that she can have a little bit more ring experience and then ring side experience not ring experience and then last run and it is currently 10 to 6 so it's going to be probably 7, 8 o'clock by the time we leave which is a bit annoying but it is what it is it's what happens winter shows you know smaller mediums were just the afternoon we didn't start till 3 so it is what it is really <laughs> You've been a good girl. Paul. <laughs> Paul. Good poor, good girl. You say hello to everyone. This is so awkward because I'm plugged in. Luna, you say hello as well. <laughs> you can come up then. Look, he's got ninth place. Ah. So, this was for the jumping. She got ninth place. If she hadn't have knocked the pole, she would have been first. And the only reason why she knocked the pole was, I think, because I started turning too early. So, my fault, isn't it? My fault. So, yeah. So we've just done the presentations and then we've got one run left. I've just walked the agility, the second agility now. And I'm just gonna take Lily out for a little bit just so that she can watch the smalls and then I'll do a switch over. Doesn't look like there's many people left. I think most people have gone home now. and everything she clipped a pole she didn't knock it off so i don't know if they're going to mark it or not so but he clapped at the end so i'm hoping that that was a clear 
she was super fast she got all her weaves she didn't miss anything really pleased with her that was a really good run really good run i've just checked and it's a clear it is a clear i'm so proud of her i don't know why i'm like so emotional over it I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. Like, uh, I don't know if it's just because it's late, but <sighs> she's got clear and she's sitting at the moment. She's sitting in first. So as long as nobody else is quicker than her, but I just I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. Like. Like, just when everything clicks, it just feels so good. Like, she just was beautiful. She just ran so lovely. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Goo. So proud of you. And Lily is the best cheerleader ever, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Our Lily is just so calm when we're, like, in there watching, even with all the barking and the banging. Like... She's just so chilled. I'm so lucky to, that she's so chilled compared to Luna who barks the whole time when she's waiting. Um, although she has been a lot more chilled this time. My hands are shaking, which means the camera's probably shaken because it's absolutely freezing. So now I'm going to have to wait around unless someone beats me. But now we're going to have to wait around because that was the last run. I was hoping to do that run. We could go home. But now we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Should we put your coat on? Yeah. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Anyone would think they've not done agility all day. <laughs> okay, as you can see, we are finally home. We ended up having to wait for the results because Luna got a clear and was sitting in first place. And she did, in fact, win. Look at that. First place and a clear, which is our stripe one, I believe, to grade four, which is amazing considering at the start of this year we were grade two and we went into grade three and now we're, you know, on our way to grade four, which is really exciting. And then we also got ninth place, which was for the jumping where she knocked a pole. It, her timing if she had not knocked that pole she would have been in first place so but hey hey ninth place she was like top in my eyes anyway so yeah and then we also got for winning the agility a five pound off voucher for uh dog sports derby agility plaza or the mango glass trophies which is really exciting that's um that's actually quite a nice thing instead of just having a trophy you've got a choice of whatever you want it's a shame that i didn't get my runs videoed but it is what it is uh it happens when you're competing by yourself and you don't know anyone there it was a really long day but it was a really good day and i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please give us a thumbs up and if you subscribe to the channel make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are made aware of any new videos that come out and we will see you next time bye